heck is Nate, man? What is, what is up with him? He's never late, man. Guy is always very punctual. Where on earth is the guy? Come on, this can't be. This can't be true, man. This guy can't be serious, man. Al, I am so sorry. Look, I know finally Blaine. decided to show up, man. Come on, I know come on. I had. Yeah, come on, you can do better than that, man. Come on, take there a seat, traffic, and get your act together. And, and get and your I act together, man. I'm sorry. But look, Why don't you I'm take just, a mirror and look at yourself? A reflection. Look, I know. What you I look, look like. You look. look you look. I look. Shit, I, I know. I look bad. Okay, get just, your shit together. Okay? I was trying to. I was trying to get slow. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You need to get a shit shot on shade. Somebody caught me off in traffic. I'm about to cut you off, man. I'm sick of this. Come on. Let's get serious. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna soak the audio. Get serious, man. And I'm just. I'm sorry. Let's get started here. And I just. Come on. I don't know. Guys, the guys. Quit playing the fucking toys and let's get serious for once. Okay. Get your act together. I mean, look at you. Come on. Well, let's start. Can we start the show? Um, I'm gonna talk to you later about this, man. This is this is pathetic. Okay, you're a mess. All right, let's start the show, man. Get the get the cameras rolling. I don't care where it's coming from. I don't care what. Come on, what feed are we going here? Okay, let's start. Are you ready? Hey guys, welcome back to the Nate and Al Show, Freaks and Geeks. I can tell you, you're probably gonna guess right now who's the freak and who's the geek, but um, to be honest, I'm a bit out of my element. Um, a couple people, especially some close p friends of mine even, are starting to you know really step on my parade and just bring me down, but we're fighting through. This is a serious episode. We're gonna start out talking about the latest whereabouts of Sweet Onion Joe. So if we could take it away um, to him, that would be uh, fantastic. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Um, I just wanted to bring a little bit of darkness to light, a little bit of uh, a mistake on my part, and we try to learn from these mistakes. Because even as host, I I have a lot of blunders, and I have a lot of downfalls, but sometimes those are justified. Because um, the means justify the ends, and you gotta lay down the law when it's right. But I wanna apologize to my buddy Nate. He's my best friend, we've been working together for almost two decades now, but he really sort of pushed the boundaries, to be honest. On his part, he sort of warranted a little bit of the actions I used because he was late one day, two hours late, first of all, to a very serious special that we're having dedication to one of our friends. Um, it was a very somber uh, episode that he should have treated with reverence on the same level that I do. So I just wanted to put that out there, just make, you, make, you, make it know where I'm coming from. And you were late the next day too. And the day after that, you didn't return my phone call. so. Uh, I want, even though I did go a little bit overboard, being a little bit vocal as I can be. So, I want to be the nice guy here, I want to be the mature one, uh, like you weren't the other day. I don't want to let bygones be bygones. I want to apologize to you, Nate, and um, just, just try to move on. Okay, man? Okay, guys, we got a great treat coming up. Oh, wow. One of our favorite... Rock and roll, glam rock and roll duos, the Ross Brothers, Ross Brothers have been man. spotted recently. Where have they been lately? I haven't seen them in months. They've been I off don't the know. map. Oh, There's been man. some rumors about them disappearing, maybe a kidnapping going on, but none of that's Karambi's corpse. Yeah, none of that's added up. But the good news is that we saw local tabloid pictures, some oh, paparazzi wow. spotted in local paper have spotted both of them. Do you have them? Yeah, I do. I'll show them in a bit. But guess where they were spotted taking a bite to where? eat? Where? They were at Joe Fry's Burgers and Fries, man. One of our favorite wow. restaurants. We Typical go there, show up there. You know, we frequent the place so often, and it's just a great blessing to hear this. To show both of our idols, rock and roll idols, showing up there. Near. They're in town. But about. it's really, awesome. it's a really interesting thing about the pictures. Here, let me show you, man. Do you have them so, on the studio thing? You want to take, take yeah, the yeah, up maybe too? put them up in the picture. Put, I'll put show you right on my screen. phone. Yeah, can we get like a better view of them? Okay, yes. Yeah, just get that ready, please. Freaking smartphone, man. They're just getting more and more complicated every you year. Just go to, go to swipe to um, the left. Just swipe to the left. Okay. Oh, there we go, man. We got... Just go back. No, you clicked them on. Oh, crap. You, you gotta go back. Just go back, click on that. Okay, there here we go. Okay, there. We got plenty of pictures showing them they look happy oh, as wow. they can be they look better than it's, ever man. they look a little Instead. different it's, do you have a closer you want to put that up on the screen yeah yeah uh closer picture <laughs> do you have a closer picture? yeah right here oh wow uh something is definitely different about them i don't know man. do you notice what i notice you know, 
It's been a while. Something's they're older. De- they're definitely something's changed. But enough. I think I think what it is. I think what is it? I think they got a new stylist. I think it's a new haircut. Oh, sporting a new look. You know, they're in there. You know what? 50s, That's what it is. Know. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes perfect. I was trying to figure out what look different yeah. about them and that's it they, the hair is just that rock and roll about it yeah they definitely they, they changed wow. a little bit from their 1980s it looks line. good in the they 80s modern you know the kind 80s they were really rocking it, you know? they're updating yeah. themselves good. inventing it's good for their image great. they look great I like in their yeah. image like in how they're looking they look healthy they look full it's great to full. see you know they're getting a good you know meal at fry guys they're getting good eats you know? at fry guys yeah. nice Man, I love that small talk. I, I can't yeah. get enough of it. Like, just the other day, I was on the bus, and I was talking to this old lady. She was so nice, and she was talking about her granddaughter, right. and, you know, she came in from Kansas and all this. It was just amazing. It was the greatest experience ever. Yeah. You see, guys, I'm the type of guy I could do without small talk, you know? You know, some conversations maybe about, like, tech stuff, like audio stuff and music right. I can do. But if people approach me on the train or the subway, and I'm in my hub and I'm of my zone of isolation with my headphones on, people want to come up and talk about the weather or something else, sort of boring. I'm the type of guy, I have to take off my earbuds and I go, wow. You know, I take off my earbuds and go, wow. I take off my earbuds and I go, wow. I know you guys probably wonder why I'm coming to you like this. Uh, bit of a spectacle here, but bad news is I got the crud. Yeah, it's not pretty. I gotta sort of wear this, keep my distance. So, uh, yeah, um, you, you just keep your distance, Nate. Okay, try not to touch, no contact. Um, try to follow me at Nate. No, no, okay. I, I spent a lot of time putting this on. Trying to get those germs. It's the micros, people. It's, they're trying to get into you, man. <clears throat> so, trying to wait till this sort of passes over. Uh, wow. Somebody help me with the mask. I can't, I can't breathe. You okay? Somebody help me with the mask. Get the fucking mask. We got our great friend DJ Quantum. He's introducing us to all kinds of new genres. Great rock albums. Great stuff like Caveman Rock, which I've been a diehard fan of for the yes. past twenty years. Love man. Caveman and, Rock. And there's Good so stuff. much of it. Yeah, man, exactly. Mm. There's so much of the stuff we can't even ca- keep up with it, you know. But he's I come up. Do it all. <laughs> he's he's badgering us with the stuff, CD after CD. He's got Refined Circus Rock, which is another one of my favorites. Why is um, it called that? Out of curiosity. You know what, dude? I honestly haven't the slightest clue. I, I had the foggiest idea, man. I don't know. Wow.